good morning students in the last session already we have discussed about price index number price index number is classified into two types first one is unweighted price index number second one is weighted price index number unweighted price index is again classified into two types first one is unweighted aggregative price index number another one is unweighted average price index number so next in this session we should know about the first topic unweighted aggregative price index number it is also known as a simple aggregative price index number so simple aggregative method and unweighted aggregative method both are same so let us know about the one example problem in price index number simple aggregative method so take an example of one problem calculate price index number by using simple aggregative method and comment on the result that is the problem so here given the information we should find out based on this simple aggregative method simple aggregative method it is also known as a unweighted aggregative method it is very important for your examination five marks it's very important in your examination for five marks problem so let us know about the what are the given information then how to find out in the simple aggregative method it is the problem so under that they are given information items they are given five items wheat rice pulse milk and cloth so they are given information of prices so prices they are given two year information 2010 and 2012 so 2010 it is indicating as a base year for us because of it's a first year so it is we can denote as a p not we can denote as a p not it's a present year in this price so we can denote as a p1 so present year we can indicate as a p1 and base year we can indicate as a p0 so this is the given information based on the information we should find out in the simple aggregative method so let us know about the what is the formula for calculation of simple aggregative method so identification of prices of simple aggregative method so we can denote as a p not 1 the formula is summation of p1 divided by summation of p not into 100 this is the formula for simple aggregative method so summation of p1 p1 means price of the current year price of the present year p0 means price of the base year we have to make it total summation means we have to make it total of price of the current year and price of the base year we have to make it total of this so it is a given information right so base year p0 we should make it total we should make a total 127 if you make a total of 2010 prices so it will come 127 it is called as a sigma p p not it is a sigma p not next we should make a total on 2012 prices 155 if you make a total it will come 155 it is a total the base year prices summation is 127 the current year total is prices is 155 based on this information we can apply the formula so how to apply it p not 1 is equal to summation of p1 total how much 155 divided by summation of p not p not how much 127 into 100 so if you are apply the formula means how much will got we got answer 122.5 it is the final answer p not 1 means prices of base year is related to the current year prices of base year is related to the current year 
after the i find out in the simple aggregative method so there are already one more point we should find out comment on the result we should give a conclusion for this result how to give a conclusion conclusion is based on the result we should give a conclusion so standard prices is 100 so if you got more than 100 if you got more than 100 we can give a conclusion of increasing the current year price if you got answer less than 100 we can give a conclusion decreasing the current year price so here we got 122.5 it is more than 100 it is more than 100 we can give a conclusion for this problem current year price increases increases by how much 22.5 22.5% is increases 22.5 is increases so it's a base is 100 if you got more than 100 how much of percent is increases 22.5 percent are increases if you sometime take an example in the current year price we can get an answer 88 means if you got eight answer is 88 it's a less than 100 it's a less than 100 so we have to reduce 100 minus 88 how, how much we will get 12 so we can give a conclusion for that current year price decreased by 12 percent decreased by 12 percent that is the conclusion for me so 100 is a base for standardized price if you got more than 100 we can give a conclusion so current year price increased if you got less than 100 we can give a conclusion so decreased so that is the way of conclusion or comment okay students i think all are understood this topic it's a related to the simple aggregative method or unweighted price index related method okay thank you students please like share and comment thank you